Hello, this is Kevin Bees with life-changing business tip number 29 and we are still on the same topic as yesterday which is around goal setting and we are on to goal setting part number two, two today. So the first day uh, I said there's three keys to setting a goal. Number one is what? What is the outcome that you want? Get really clear on the outcome that you want. We covered that on uh, yesterday on tip 28. Today we're going to discover the why. Why it's so important to have a why when you set your goals. Now, some of you may know this already instinctively, but when you get going towards your goals, if things get a bit challenging or a bit tricky or a bit tough, you want to know, why Why am I doing this? You've got to have some compelling reason that's pulling you towards this goal or this outcome. Okay, so even if things get challenging, you know why this is so important for you, why you're going to push and develop and grow or overcome any obstacles in your way because there's a reason why. Okay, so this is why the why is so important. Uh, and maybe let me share a couple of examples with you. I, I've had times with my business clients where we started setting a goal. Well, one, one, one example comes to mind. Uh, this was a lady, she was an author, and she'd written a heap of books, had a heap of books printed, okay? And then we, we met, she, she, hadn't, um, she hadn't engaged in a writing or, or publishing or printing or selling of these books for a while, but she, she'd had for a couple of years, maybe 500 or so books sat in her garage. And she was feeling a lot of guilt around it. Now, we started setting a goal, and her goal was to sell these 500 books, right? To just actually sell them, get them out to children, because she's a children's author, and have them out in the community. And we, we set that as the goal, the what. So we were very clear we are going to sell the 500 books. We were in a clear time frame. And then I asked her about the why. Why do you want to do this? And it was really interesting. It all unraveled very quickly, because she, she really wasn't motivated to do this. There was no why. She, didn't, she just felt guilt that she'd printed all these books and paid for these books or that she'd promised the, the sponsor, and there was a lot of guilt around having not accomplished it and not achieved it, okay? And so as we began to discover that her why wasn't that strong, she really didn't want to do it. She wasn't going to go out there and, and make this happen, which is why it hadn't happened for the two years before I'd met her. And so what we uncovered, like her why instead, which became more compelling, was we rewrote the goal. And the goal was actually to go and donate these books to uh, places which children would want them, okay? It was, it was a great book, it was a great resource. Now. That was much better. And getting clear on that why, she was able to utilize those books. The sponsor who sponsored the books, their message still got out. And her message still got out with her books to the schools. And she didn't do the piece that she really wasn't interested in, which was the going to selling them. So in, in getting clear on the why, it actually changed the whole goal for her. It shifted the whole thing around. She was able to pass out these books, share these books, and uh, and then, then no longer had the, the same pressure of going to sell them in the way that she, she really wasn't interested in anyway. I have another example for you. And this one is a little bit around the area of health, because I think as business owners, it's so important for us to take care of our health. If we have nothing in terms of our health, we have no business. I've met too many people along the way who uh, have put all their time and energy into the business, didn't take care of health, and then get sick. And then really, what's the point of the business or the financial assets anyway, because you can't enjoy them. So one of the goals one of my business clients was setting was around getting into shape, getting healthy, getting, getting fit, getting buff. And as we got into the why, he, he had some motivation for himself, like he wanted to feel better, he wanted to feel more energy. But the thing that really lit him up, the thing that really got him going was having his wife uh, see him in shape and seeing how she'd respond to that. So sometimes our why isn't even just about us, it's about how are other people gonna respond to us? What's it gonna mean to our wife, our friends, our family, our employees, our children? How are they gonna see us when we accomplish this goal or achieve this thing? So something beyond ourselves or maybe even a higher purpose, what's it gonna mean for us for a higher purpose could be really important in, in the aspect of the why. So uh, why do we want it? And you know, not just for us, but for other people. The other important piece, and we discussed this slightly yesterday, is the emotional factor. The more emotional you can be about your why, the more emotional energy you get from your why, the more compelling it is for you to accomplish it. Uh, one, one final thing I wanna add to this, sometimes in the why, it can be very compelling to get clear on what you're gonna lose or what it's gonna cost you if you don't accomplish this goal. That sometimes some people are really motivated to get away from that pain. So, hey, maybe if you don't accomplish the revenue this month or this quarter, then there's going to be a financial consequence, or uh, maybe even a, a, you know, from your ego point of view, there's there's something that is going to cost you, or maybe not achieving this financial goal or this target is actually going to mean that you can't have something. You you're going to lose an opportunity. So. Uh, 
perhaps as a quick recap then, get clear on your why, get emotionally connected, make it about yourself, make it about something bigger than you, something beyond you, friends, family, or a bigger accomplishment. Uh, and if it's appropriate, make it about um, the getting away from. What's it going to cost you if you don't get this? Okay, I think that's everything I have to cover today on the why. Check in tomorrow and we will talk about, well, what are the best ways to get clear on the how? How are you going to accomplish this goal in the shortest time frame possible, uh, making it as easy as for you? Okay, that is tip number 29. I'll be back for tip number 30 tomorrow.